All right, Kindle Mountain was the name of the uh, trail that I was looking to remember earlier in that last shot there. So this is what we're gonna go do, and that is the mountain that we're gonna climb. All the way up there. So I got my map, got my GPS, water, snacks, everything else is good. And uh, yeah, should be good to go. All right, well, let's see what see what's out here. Looks like there's some cool, cool stuff. An abandoned bus, some mines, wooden train cars. So let's go check it out. Making my way up the hill here, and I want to show you this real quick. If you can, hopefully you can see that. It might be kind of small in the video, but that is the Million Dollar Highway that leads from Silverton all the way north up to Ure. It's called the Million Dollar Highway because, as far as I know, it costs a million mile or a million dollars per mile to build that thing. All the excavating and rock moving that they had to do. You can actually see most of it down there on the cliff sides. But yeah, just thought I'd show that to you. Now, how in the hell did this get up here? Was this a track? That's like a wooden train car, man. That's crazy. I mean, I don't think a railroad track came up this. This is a little steep for that. I don't know. Mysteries you find while we land. Okay, let's continue. So I think I found out how they maintain these roads at this altitude. A dozer. Should have guessed. I think I found the Montana mine, but no school bus in sight yet. I don't know, I'll send the drone up and see if I can find it, but let's check this out at least. Always love coming to old abandoned mines. That one's full of water. Whew. Funny how deep, how deep that is. I wonder how far back this goes. There's some, there's some stuff back there, that's for sure. It's all braced up and everything. Little tire, some boxes. Oh. That's pretty cool. Little rigging structure here. But, yeah. Trying to think, because I don't know where that. You think the bus would be pretty, uh, pretty obvious, but not seeing it anywhere. So I'll take a look with the drone, see what I can find, and uh, show you guys if there's anything interesting.
watch him move a tree. That's so cool. He's making me my own personal path. I love it. <laughs> Love how powerful those things are, man. That's so cool. At least that's how they maintain the road, so. It's still crazy to think that it got all the way up here. These are pretty steep roads, so. We'll let them uh, finish clearing it out, and then, uh, then we'll get going. And then we'll keep going, get back down to that fork in the road, and then keep going up the mountain, so. Thank you, Mr. Dozer. Back at the fork in the road. Now, to continue on upwards. Letting the Jeep cool down a little bit. It was just getting a, a little bit too hot, especially at these altitudes when you're making up uh, some steep climbs. A transmission temp and a uh, coolant temp can get a little hot. So and I do have auxiliary fans on it. So I'm just letting her cool down a little bit here. But this is what I still have to go. And this is what I've just come up so far. So yeah, hence why the Jeep's a little hot. It's okay though. So. We're gonna continue on here in a few moments. I'm gonna have a drink real quick. And then uh, we're gonna make it to the top of that, man. I wanna see what's up there. I wanna see all the cool views and everything else. Let's see more of that behind me. Hell yeah, let's do it. done at the uh, what was that called Titusville mine up there you can probably see it behind me as we come down we're gonna go back down just a little bit and then continue our final trek all the way up to the very peak where supposedly we get a pretty awesome view of Silverton so I'm looking forward to that let's go and get her done I'm telling you guys there are more abandoned mines here than you can shake a stick at check this out I always wonder where stuff like that goes. But 
Mm. Oh well. All locked up and boarded, so can't go there. Let's continue up the mountain. just walked all of that and it still continues on and up but it gets it gets a little too narrow for me uh i'd be more comfortable with that in like a side by side or something like that or something that's a little bit more narrow so i'm uh i'm gonna stop right here hit my comfort comfort zone so and that's okay it happens but look what i didn't make it up can see all the roads all the way down there so this has been a pretty good day not gonna lie that was probably this section right up in here probably the that was pretty white knuckle that's <laughs> it's uh it gets pretty narrow right there and it's pretty steep like I was in four low the entire time so and I'm re-geared at 488 so but I'm gonna probably start heading back down, heading back into Silverton, start uploading this footage here. I'll continue filming to see if there's anything else there. But if not, I always wanna make sure that you guys hit, the, hit that subscribe button. I need subscribers. But don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, and always subscribe. So hopefully this won't be the end of it, but if not, I'll say peace here, leave it at this. But like always, if there's anything else, I'll show you. Later.